High fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see um, what is it that's making it hard for you to move on or let go from this person. So why is it that you're still holding on and what exactly keeps you holding on to this individual? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, which is going to be made via the extension link below. And in part two, we're going to explore whether or not you will still hear from this individual, whether or not you and this person might have a chance to reconnect and reignite the flames or the sparks that you guys created in the beginning here. I'm also offering personalized tarot readings, so please uh, feel free to reach out. My email address will be made available also just in the description box below the video here. Alrighty guys, and now that that's all said, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So what's making it so hard for you to let go and move on? Okay. A fair bit of earthly energy which tells me that the two of you were very much invested, okay? Or at least you were quite invested in what the two of you had going on. Now, some of you, uh, this investment is an emotion, sorry, emotional investment. So you were really emotionally invested in your person, in their energy, in getting to know them, in building a connection, and possibly even building a life with this person. For others, I'm seeing that the two of you, you might have... Um, established or were in the process of establishing a life with one another okay so moving in together meeting each other's family perhaps having a family of your own one day buying a house or uh, looking to invest into a, buying a property together so it's build, it's about building a life together okay because the suit of pentacles does represent money, the material realm, something that's tangible, solid, something that's real. So for a lot of you, that's exactly why you're also finding it really hard to move on here, okay? Because this connection here, at some point in your life, this connection did feel very real. The feelings were very real. The plans, the visions, the, um, you know, all the expectations you had for this connection, the foundation upon which the two of you have built things, okay? It seemed firm, reliable, strong, um, very steady, okay? It, for some of you, this was a very long-lasting commitment. You might have been married to this person. Um, you may have been engaged to this person, or you may, you know, have lived together for quite, um, for quite some time. For, for some of you, I do feel like you guys, it is a long, or it was a long-term commitment here, okay? Some of you, I can see that you've exchanged vows with one another. However, it seems that you're still, or a part of you is still very much invested, okay? You could still be quite emotionally invested, or you're still very much attached 
to the life that the two of you had built together, okay? Or to the expectations and the plans that the two of you have made, created, and shared with one another. And you're you're really having a hard time giving all of that up. Some of you, you were building a house with one another or you've created, you know, you've built a house and turned it into a happy home. Others of you, you've had talks and plans and visions of doing this in the future, Built, you know, creating a home, um, creating a family. You've welcomed this person into your family. They've welcomed you into theirs. So a lot of you are finding it hard to let go of that. To let go of what once felt so real for you. The Four of Swords also indicates to me that there's a lot of pain, okay? And what you're finding hard to let go of is the hurt and the pain that came as a result of this connection. The fact that it all came crumbling down. The fact that something so real, in the end, you found out that, you know, it wasn't as solid. It wasn't as sturdy. It, what, the foundation wasn't as firm. In fact, it was shakable here. So I can see that there is uh, a pain that's attached to your energy here, perhaps even their energy as well. The Four of Swords depicts a wounded soldier that lays at rest. Um, my take is that, you know, he's been wounded at battle here, so he needs the time to withdraw, recuperate, rest and nurse his wounds. A lot of you, I feel like, are still hurting. There may be wounds still bleeding and festering into the future, which is making it hard to let go. Because if you're still hurting and if you haven't forgiven this person, um, you know, for the pain and the hurt that caused you, or if you haven't forgiven yourself, then it's going to make it really difficult for you to move on and for you to release and let go of their energy here. There is a lot of regrets here, okay? There was quite a lot of emotional disappointment, a very heavy energy, and a lot of you keep revisiting the memories, revisiting the past, revisiting the hurt. You won't be able to let go of someone um, or someone's energy if you keep holding on to the past, okay? Whilst we can look to the past and we can revisit it from time to time, and it does, I do believe it holds valuable lessons, and it holds the key to our future. But do not unpack your bag and stay there. And some of you, I feel like you're staying there a little bit longer than you have to. And I get it. You know, it's hard. There is no on and off button which you can just switch your emotions off and, you know, hope that they dissolve. Just because the relationship ended, it doesn't mean that your feelings for this person have, okay? Um, there is quite an imbalance here with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, someone felt a little bit more invested in this connection. Okay, so I don't know if it's you, if you if you were the one who invested a little bit more than your person, your energy, whether it's emotionally, mentally, whether it's with your resources, your time, your energy, your attention here, you know, your love. But it felt like that there wasn't an equal balance of give and take. It felt that you were giving so much of yourself and they were happy to do the taking. And maybe they grew accustomed to it because somewhere along the line, you've made a habit out of this, the both of you. Because notice the star etched onto the pentacles. This to me is like a pattern. There were certain behavioral patterns that this person displayed throughout the connection that were clearly damaging to you and your connection here. Okay, but this person, I feel like they didn't necessarily deliberately or intentionally want to, you know, set out to hurt you. I don't think there was malicious motivation or intent. Um, I just feel like this person wasn't entirely sure. Okay, I feel like there was a lot of emotional confusion in their energy and I feel like there is an energy of anxiety, an energy of fear or personal insecurities, behavioral patterns that this person harbors that dictate, cause them to dictate their um, actions. Okay, um, so I don't think, you know, the hurt was deliberate. But for a lot of you, um, I can see that you're still holding on to that pain and holding on to that hurt. And that's what's making it really difficult for you to move on, is that you're not ready. Emotionally, you're not ready, okay? Your person may also have been emotionally reserved. And they didn't really allow themselves to experience the depths of this connection, okay? There's some uncertainties or anxieties that kind of hindered and stunted the growth as well of this connection. It appears as though 
For some of you, there may have been a third party situation as indicated with the Five of Cups. Maybe your person has gone back to an ex. Maybe your person has always had you know, lingering emotions for an ex and that's sort of what's come in the way between you and this person here. Or maybe it's coming up around your energy here. But I can see that there are still so many words that you want to say to this person, but you, you held back or you didn't feel like you had the right time or you had enough time to say it. Okay, because I feel like, you know, if you could just have one more conversation to sort of talk about things or to tell them just how much you love them or to just sort of revisit things, because I feel like you're still holding on. And the fact that you're still holding on, especially to, you know, the things that were left unsaid, it kind of says it all. It's, it's saying, you know, that's what's, that in itself is what's making it very, and extremely difficult for you to move on, is the fact that it's still... <clears throat> excuse me, things left unsaid, um, and emotion and um, unresolved emotional feelings here. Alright guys, so in part two we're going to explore whether the two of you might have a chance to reconnect or at least communicate, okay, and um, see if you get a chance to revisit things in the future, sometime in the future, later down the track. And once again, part two is going to be made via the extension link below. If you're after a personal reading, my email address is listed just below the video here as well. Otherwise, guys, please show your support by liking, subscribing, sharing. I just want to thank you guys for your time, your attention, your support. It's greatly appreciated. Bye for now.